Bhagavad Gita, text 4.42 Therefore, having cut away with the sword of knowledge your doubts arising from ignorance that lurks in your heart, take refuge in yoga and stand for battle, O descendant of Bharata. Verse 41 and 42 concludes this chapter with emphasis on knowledge as the fruit of detached action. Baladeva Vidyabhushana comments that knowledge and action are like the two aspects of rice paddy, the husk and the rice grain itself. Karma is compared to the husk and jnana to the rice. Jnana develops out of the protective husk of detached action. Yet the rise of jnana itself is superior to such action, being the fruit of the harvest. This, he says, is the lesson of chapter 4. These two concluding verses also introduce chapter 5. Verse 41 speaks of the result of karma yoga that qualifies one for the renunciation of contemplative life. In verse 42, Krishna implores Arjuna to take shelter of karma yoga, having gained theoretical knowledge from him and thus conviction about the self. This is what he instructs Arjuna to do in chapter 5. Continue to practice karma yoga with a view to attain the qualification for renunciation and meditation. However, this concluding verse can also be constructed to be a covered directive for the culture of bhakti, for knowledge by which doubts are destroyed is more than theoretical knowledge. It is the ground of inner wisdom that is the fruit of karma yoga, upon which the emotional life of bhakti stands. Viewing it in this light, here Krishna instructs Arjuna to fight, not out of duty with a sense of detachment, but rather because this battle is Krishna's work.